in order to become a master you have to watch the masters you've got to study you've got to understand you've got to observe okay and that's why i've been binge watching the food network keep watching to find out what books and tv shows i'm talking about today hey y'all it's kyla the nanyo and today we're talking about bobby flay well specifically the food network his show beat bobby flay and his cookbooks all right so i have been watching the show be bobby flay i knew who he was like casually but i have been watching his show from the most recent season to the oldest season i started with season like 31 and now i'm currently in like season four fascinating and i learned these five things well for one the watching the show made me go pick up his cookbooks and it's giving me a greater appreciation for everything that he does on the show and for his actual life so so that's number one number two all right you have to appreciate the expertise of bobby flay all right these contestants come on beat bobby flay and if you never watched the show it's where contestants show up they have to compete with another person the person who wins gets to tell bobby their specialty and then bobby tries to make the recipe and they try to make the recipe okay Watching the show made me realize so much more stuff about him. Like he's had his daughter Sophie on the show, which is why I picked up this cookbook, Sundays with Sophie, which is where he talks about some of the family recipes that he makes. And it just really gets you to appreciate him because he always has these little sections at the top of the recipes where he talks about like where I got this recipe from or who used to make this, right? And so the shows lead to the cookbooks, which led to me learning, which led to the video. Cause and effect. Okay. The third thing that I absolutely love and learned about Bobby Flay is he values himself. That feels simple. You put your name on stuff that you value. I send my daughter to school. I got her name on her spoons. I got it on her book bag. I got it on her fork. I need y'all to know that this is hers and put it back in the bag. Okay. Beat Bobby Flay. Bobby's Burger Place. Bobby Flay's Americana Grill. Yeah, I got my name on everything. Right? This one? doesn't even have to have his written by Bobby Flay. It's Bobby Flay fit. It's his book. Okay. He has used his name and it is his calling card and it precedes him as your name should. And Bobby Flay names everything after himself because he respects his name. I mean, this, he's been cooking for years. This is not an SEO search engine optimization trick to have Bobby Flay on everything. He's always saw the value in his name and the value of his brand. And he puts his name on everything. And I think that is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Number four, Bobby Flay writes some damn good cookbooks. <laughs> I gave a little snippet about how he explains why he created this recipe and what it came from. But like in this one, Bobby Flay Fit, he writes about this is my favorite kind of overnight oatmeal because I used to always eat that oatmeal that had absolutely nothing to do with apple cinnamon and I still loved it as a kid and the memory of this recipe reminds me of and I'm just like the food we eat does make us think of old memories and wow that you remember that and all oh, the flavors and now you've amped it up and I'm like that's so true right like yeah you're a chef and not to say that chefs aren't intelligent but the book is really really profound but honestly if they removed the recipes and just had all his little snippets i would just read a book with those because it's fascinating and i feel like those he really wrote and then the contributing editors and writers are the ones who like figured out this many calories are in this amount of nuts and blah blah blah, blah for the actual recipes but it's brilliant cookbooks phenomenal show phenomenal but the very last thing that I've been learning from the Food Network and from these books is, I think Bobby Flay is a nice guy. We like all kinds of people. We don't really care where they came from, what they're doing, but I care about what is happening right now. What can you do for me lately? This. I feel like Bobby Flay, if you saw him on the street, he would actually talk to you and be nice. And that kind of adds to his likability because he lets these people come on the show and kind of roast him. He lets his friends come on beat Bobby Flay who are like trying to choose the contestant who goes to the next round. They're harassing him. They're roasting him. Like it's all in fun, but like, I think he actually is a nice person and that really does add to the appeal. If I'm ever in New York, I will stop by Mesa Grill. I will go to Shark out in Vegas. Like I am a walking advertisement for Bobby Flay because his show is awesome, but his show spun off into cookbooks, which are also awesome. Check out this video here, which is also about food and why I ate ramen noodles for a month. Don't hate me, Bobby Flay. I know I should eat fresh food, but it was for a really good reason, okay? So I'll see you in the next one.